There we go. Man, look at all these Ao Mings. Three points! Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dream Hangers. And this week I have some really fun Dream Hangers lined up for you guys. Um, so I guess let's get started with the first comment. So the first comment we have is coming from Putin. I did not know that Putin actually watched my videos, but okay. We have the Ao Ming, we have the Ao Jung, the Hawk, the Ao Kuang, the Ao Ching, and the Nightingale. So, as you can see my hanger, we do have the Ao Jung here with Ember Weapons. I have Overdrives, Advanced Repair. And uh, yeah, I think this uh, hanger is going to be kind of interesting, a bit challenging. We have some uh, bots here that I have not run uh, in quite a while, actually. Uh, the Ao Kuang being one of them. And uh, not sure about that uh, Ao Ching. Okay, so on this one, I have the Scourge. I actually put the Scourge on, and this is a new uh, paint job. The Venator, it actually kind of matches it. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting build. Uh, going for all damage here, making sure I have the Guidance Operator. And uh, here is the Ao Ching. So this build, I can actually kind of see this working. Okay, because we have that 600 meter range with these weapons. So hopefully I don't get uh, sniped or something, but uh, I'm pretty sure that can do quite a bit of damage on an open map. We have the Nightingale here with Havoc and Scatter. And then lastly, we have the Ao Ming. Now, <laughs> I'm not sure how this is going to go because this kind of build, I need to get close to the enemy in order to do a lot of damage. Now, if I happen to fly kind of, uh, you know, closer to the enemy and they bring out a Sharanga, uh, this thing is going to, you know, pretty much get smoked instantly. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be my hangar. Let's jump into a game and let's see how we do with all of these flying robots. Okay, so we've just dropped in on Valley Map and um, I have started with the uh, Ao Ching first. I'm going to try to get this uh, player here if I can. I think I did lock him down. I'm not sure if I'm going to get him down to his last stand. Maybe. Oh, he blinked. I think I almost got him down to his last stand. That was kind of close. These guys are leeching onto me because I'm this fragile um, bot. Nope, oh, we got this guy down. We got him locked. There's another player moving on the uh, left flank there. Let's try to target this player. Yes, we got a kill. And um, I believe I locked that player down as well. I have to be careful with this build. It's so fragile. Maybe I can get this guy quick. Maybe lock him down. Oh man, he's got the shield. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Oh geez, that guy's gonna totally smoke me. Oh, come on, are you serious, really? There we go. This is kind of doing okay. Still wouldn't run it in Champion League, though. Come on, come on. Oh, jeez, these guys... This uh, right side here. Can I get that guy? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I gotta turn elsewhere because otherwise I'm gonna kill kill myself with the, uh, the reflector shield there. Let's get this guy, lock him down. Oh man, he better not kill me here because I'm right on this beacon too. Come on! Oh, this guy's gonna get me! Ah, shoot. Okay, um, let's use the Alquang next. Hmm. Let's go for this guy. Nope, can't go for him. There we go, there we go. Yes! I'm trying to get rid of all my range first. I can get that player. Yep, there's someone behind me. Oh, come on, I got locked. This is a really bad place for me to be locked, man. Holy shoot. 
Scorpion, get him. Yes. These guys are gonna move around the corner. Gotta heal quick. I, I saw that uh, Typhon uh, jumping. I had to heal because otherwise he's gonna disable me. Oh, come on. So close. We can get this guy with the uh, missiles. Yes. Trying not to uh, push too much. That way I get more gameplay in. We're doing a decent damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what? I'm gonna go for that... Go for that uh, Cerberus. Or oh, this guy here. You know what? I think this game's gonna be kind of close. Holy shoot, I try to heal. Yikes. Man, I need to uh, reload quickly here. We also have this, uh, this Ming. Come on, maybe I can take him out or at least, uh... Yep, there we go, we got a Hawk. Hawk is hitting him. That's good, there we go. And this guy... Uh, we kind of need like a beacon quickly here. We need to go this way quickly, guys. We only have one beacon. I'm gonna go into a flight. That guy. <laughs> All the uh, beams. Okay, so at least we have we have this beacon. This is good. We might need to get another one though. Nope. Oh. Can I get him? Can I get him? It's gonna be close. Oh shoot. I need to go into a flight here. Let's try to get the Cerberus. No! Oh. Come on, hide! Man. Oh, come on! Maybe I can still get him, though. He's taking a lot of damage. There we go. Yep. And maybe I can still get him. Oh! Jeez, these guys are <laughs> just bombing me here. Oh my gosh. Can I get... Maybe I can do a decent amount of damage to this guy. Let's see. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Holy crap, that's actually a lot more than I thought I was going to do. I know someone else is hitting him, but man, that was some serious damage there. I think this guy is still going to get me. Um, we have the... Let's use a Nightingale. Because, well, we, you know what? We have, um, we have four beacons... I'm gonna go to the right side. I actually don't want to get another beacon uh, because if I do, the game's gonna be over. So if I can take out some of these players here, like this guy here, hold on, hold on. I don't want to get that other beacon. We're going to go into a flight. Maybe suppress these guys. I think um, he's going to go into flight here. The other guy's going to get me. So I still have two bots that I have not used. The Titan. And uh, also the Hawk. So I might have to uh, show gameplay of that. Let me just suppress this guy. This guy's getting hit really bad. We might even be able to take him out with this. Oh, wait. Ares! <laughs> I'm right inside his bubble. Oh, wait. 
No! Yes! Gotta walk here too. Oh! So uh, that was a really good run actually with that hangar. And I'm gonna try to get some gameplay of the Ao Ming and also the Hawk um, as well so that you guys can see some gameplay of that. But we uh, ended up doing 4.9, almost uh, 5 million, 10 kills, 3 beacons uh, in that game. So uh, not too shabby. You know what? I was actually quite surprised by the uh, the Ao Ching uh, with that build, but you really do need to uh, hang back. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some gameplay of the Hawk and also the Ao Ming. And then afterwards, we'll take a look at the next dream hangar. Some of these players here. There's actually an Ao Ming there that I really want. But let's go for this guy. He doesn't see me. We're in a really good spot here. There we go. Man, look at all these Ao Mings. Three points. Oh my gosh. They don't even see me, this guy. Holy crap, how many did I just take out? Oh my gosh. Jeez. There we go. Let's try to take out this uh, Ao Ming. He's probably going to drop really soon. Yep, he's taking on a lot of damage. Wow. That's like one flight right there. Let's try to finish him off. Got him. I get this uh, player. He has been uh, locked. Let me just heal. They, uh, they actually have quite a few uh, hawks on that side. Oh, we got another titan here. Let's try to get this guy. Gonna activate my uh, revitalizing intensifiers. I think they might be sending another titan up top there. A lot of hawks in this game. This guy has just used his shield. You know what? We're gonna get him now. That shield's gonna be dropping. Let's try to take care of that uh, Minos. He's uh, he's almost out. Let's try to get him. This guy has been locked. couple of players on that right side as well. Let's go for uh, this guy here. We, uh, we have a Loki here as well. Let's try to get this player. I have uh, locked him down. Let's see if we can try to take this guy out. Okay, so let's take a look at the next dream hanger here coming from Vector. And Vector is calling this the Kill Squad dream hanger with the Ravana, Scorpion, T Falcon, Fenrir, Mercury, and the Titan Minos. So, as you can see, we do have the Ravana here with Fatal Havocs. I have Overdrive, Advanced Repair. This is a really powerful build. I have run this uh, numerous times actually during. Uh, live streams even with igniters uh, which i did last week definitely check that out a very powerful build uh, we have the scorpion with cryo and rhyme so some really interesting builds but also builds which i think i would have changed a couple of things uh, one of which is actually this build over here so we have the ember on here uh, which i think is a good choice but one thing i would definitely change is instead of lockdown ammo uh, using advanced repair uh, because the thing with this kind of build is what makes a T-Falcon strong other than this uh, skill is having advanced repair because that way you can heal up constantly and it takes longer for the enemy uh, to bring you down especially if you run this with the Nebula Drone. Now with the Nebula Drone, uh, you know, if you have revitalizing defenders equipped on there, every time you heal you actually give the Falcon even more resistance and um, you know, you have a similar build here too with the Fenrir um, instead of advanced repair, I have lockdown ammo. Now, in order to kind of uh, help to balance that out, I do have mechanic on here, 
And I know a lot of players use Mechanic, but one thing that uh, you will find with this kind of build is because you are engaging at close range, quite often you take on damage so fast that the Mechanic can't heal you up uh, quick enough. Uh, that's where the advanced repair comes in. And also if you have the Nebula Drone with the Revitalizing Defenders, um, it adds resistance, so it's even harder to bring down. Uh, but yeah, still a very solid uh, build, I think, overall. But it will suffer, you know, in close range uh, combat. So um, we have the uh, Minos here with the crate weapons. Uh, two cannibal reactors, Selfix and Quantum Sensor. So Quantum Sense, I tend to run more with weapons like Cyclone and Cataclysm. Um, just because, you know, it's easier to lock onto players. Especially if they're in, like, uh, stealth. But... These weapons, I don't think you need uh, this. I would do uh, probably three cannibal reactors and one plated uh, because the Minos uh, is kind of on the squishy side. But uh, yeah, this is the hangar. So let's jump into a game and uh, let's see how we do with Vector's lineup. Okay, so we've just dropped in on carrier map and um, I have started with the T-Falcon. So I've actually run a couple of games now. Uh, this build is actually terrible. I didn't think it was going to be that bad, but a lot worse than what I thought it was going to be. So, I'm going to actually lock this guy down in front of us. Uh, one of the biggest downsides to this build is that I can't heal up when I'm taking on massive damage quickly. The mechanic skill is not going to help me. And you're starting to really notice it right now. So, you know how I'm healing up here? Or not healing, I'm using my lock to lock this guy in place. But look at the amount of damage I'm taking on so quick that my mechanic skills can't heal up. Now, I suspect that the Fenrir is probably going to suffer a very similar fate because with this one, once again, I don't have advanced repair, which um, means I can't actually make use of uh, the defensive skills of this bot. So what's going to happen is I'm going to engage something like a shell, lock them down. But when I start taking massive damage, um, you know, to the point where it is so quick, I'm not going to be able to recover uh, from that kind of hit. And you guys are going to see that, uh, you know, when I'm getting closer to the enemy, which I have to do because, you know, this is a flamethrower build. So I'm trying to lock down some players there. It can still do a lot of damage, don't get me wrong. I mean, we were doing a decent amount of damage uh, to some of those players. But when I start taking damage, that is when you're going to really see it suffer. So I'm going to go into a battle here. Trying to uh, get that guy. And this one here, I'm going to lock him down. Let's deal with this player. We're going to try to take this guy out as well. So notice how I'm taking on quite a bit of damage. I can't heal up. I have to rely on my, my uh, rather my mechanic skills. And well, mechanic doesn't heal up that fast. So this is why oftentimes when you see me run things like Fenrir or any kind of tanky bot, I always have advanced repair and I actually remove mechanic skills and rather put in some sort of a defensive uh, skill like, you know, Adamant Guardian. So let's try to hit this guy here. I've uh, done a decent amount of damage, but I could have done a lot more if I had run um, you know, advanced repair. So let's uh, drop in next with the Mercury. So this one actually has advanced repair and I do have the Octanian drone which means when I use advanced repair it's gonna actually end up uh, doing more damage. I want to actually hit this guy here. So we're going to do this. Activate that. Oh, ooh, that must be uh, Fenrir. That's got to be something very tanky. Because I have a lot of damage. Yep, it is. A lot of players there on the other side. I think one of them is in a scorpion, so he's going to be attacking me here soon. This guy. Let's just do that. Nope. I was kind of anticipating him to attack me because I saw him going to stealth, so I figured I'd better do that just in case. Try to 
take uh, that guy out. Yep. Shell. I don't know if we have a shell there. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, shoot. <laughs> Gotta be careful. There's an Arthur here. Can I take this guy out quick? Got him. Oh, jeez, I'm taking on so much damage. They have a lot of titans there. Um, you know what? Let's drop in with the uh, scorpion. We need to uh, try to get that center um, before they steamroll us with all the titans. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can perhaps get... I think that's a... Uh, holy shoot. I believe that's a Shuranga. Trying to do as much damage to that guy as possible. We need to take out that Shuranga. So I have the Octanian drone on here, which means when I attack... I will activate the heal, and that's going to allow me to do more damage in order to take that guy out. So let's blink back. And probably hit this guy here with that. I'm going to make one more attack and then um, into another bot. They actually have a player down below here, which I think I should probably actually go for this guy. Yep, there we go, all the way down to his last stand. Um, I should maybe go for this guy as well. Just waiting for my weapons and everything to uh, charge up here before I attack. Okay, let's, uh, let's move in, take out this Typhon. Or at least do a lot of damage to him. Did he lose connection? No, he didn't. Man, talk about a strong Typhon. Okay, so we're now in our Ravana. I think I'm going to leave the Minos until uh, last. It looks like they actually got that center beacon, which is really bad for us. Uh, because none of my teammates are going into uh, center. I need to get into center too, but the thing with the build I have right now... Uh, kind of risky. Let's try to see if I can do it though. Let's just heal. I mean, we have uh, we have this shield. I'm just hoping this is going to be enough. Holy shoot. We actually got it, so that's good. This guy's going to get taken out. Let's just heal. I'm going to use my ability quickly so I have some resistance. We have an Arthur moving into a center as well. Uh oh, uh oh. We gotta stop this guy. I have to get onto this beacon. I don't want him to get uh, this beacon here. This game is a lot closer than we probably want it to be, too. And this Typhon, he's gonna be hitting me here soon. Nope. I think he was. I think he did fire. Can we get this beacon? We did. Holy shoot. I'm going to need to use my heal. So I have some defense on there now. The overdrives have activated as well. This guy's almost down. Okay, there. Perfect. Except they have another one. Let's move this way. The main thing is we have the center beacon. And on top of that... Oh, wait. Hold on. On top of that, uh, there's only one and a half minutes left. Yeah, this guy's going to take me out. But you know what? We have our Titan left. And this is a good position to be in. So let's just hope we can hold down that center. Oh, it looks like we might be going for another beacon. Their back beacon. Okay, so I'm just going to wait here because these guys are going to be attacking soon.
Ooh, that corrosion might even work against this guy. And this other player is actually within range, so I'm going to be running in here. Let's activate that. Try to get him with those uh, crate weapons. Oh man, I'm taking on a lot of damage. That is that going to help even? Oh, shoot, I got locked. I'm using the reflector shield here. Oh, we got another one. We got the other Titan. So I went down with four seconds remaining. I think that's going to be game. And there we go. So we ended up doing 5 million damage, 11 kills, 5 beacons. And this is how we stacked up. So, oh, we were actually down a player. So like I said, one of the things that I would definitely change uh, in this hangar, and, you know, I think a lot of players can actually learn from this because when it comes to using the T-Falcon and the uh, Fenrir, don't use lockdown ammo because um, the thing with a lockdown ammo or, uh, you know, something like quantum radar, uh, when you use that, you can't use heal and you need that heal in order to heal up uh, these tanky bots quickly, especially when you take on a lot of damage. Uh, that is one thing I would definitely change uh, with these two uh, builds, but uh, the other builds were just fine. I think they would work um, a couple of changes to the Minos uh, as well. But uh, yeah, thank you very much to Putin and to Vector for your dream hangers. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay of them. And once again, to everyone else, if you would like a chance to be featured in a future dream hangers video, make sure to post your dream hangers in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the rest of the series by going to playlists and uh, dream hangers. So I have, I think, 86 episodes, um, you know, in the series. So we're approaching 100 uh, episodes here. But a lot of crazy themes, crazy games. Uh, definitely check out the rest of the series. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.